Good morning, Inspiration. I'm Roy from uh, Powerhouse Community Church up in Scotland. Um, this morning, the Lord has laid upon my heart um, really something just to encourage you and to um, help you to focus on him. And in 2 Corinthians 4.18, I'm just going to read from the New Living's translation. It says, so we don't look at the travels we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things which cannot be seen. For the things which we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. You know, God doesn't want us to be um, looking just at all that's going on in the media and and uh, all this, the you know the the deaths and 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 all these things. But we're we're in this time, in this moment. I believe it's a season where God is refining his church. It's a time of purification. It's a time for the body of Christ, for Christians, those who have trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ, those who have been born again. You know, if you're born again, that the Holy Spirit has come into you and it has sealed you. You are a child of God. You are a seed of the kingdom of God. You are a seed on the earth. Um, and um, as... As God's children, as his offspring, we represent him. So this is a time, I believe, where God is refining the church. It's a time, I believe, where as believers were to, it's an opportunity for us um, in this lockdown to really seek God. It's a time where we can see if there's any tears in our hearts, those things which, which shouldn't be there, those things which perhaps I've just been there for, 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 you know, maybe for decades for some of us. But it's a time for these things to be removed. I believe as we humble ourselves before God, as we come before him and seek him with all our hearts, as we pray and desire to be sanctified, that God's going to pluck these tears out of our lives. I believe that God wants to for his church to arise and shine. You know, in Isaiah 60, it says... Um, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. This is a time for the for the, the church to arise. You know, Jesus is coming back for a glorious church, a glorious church. And, um, you know, so this is a time for us to, to be sanctified and set apart. In 2 Timothy, it talks about in chapter 3 about um, in a great house that uh, there are many vessels, some for honour and some for dishonour. You know, and if we're of the latter, then if we become sanctified, then we can become a vessel of honour. This is this is a time for us to be um, refined, to be sanctified, so we can be filled with the power of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, and so we can go forth in confidence and boldness, and that we can we can tell the good news of Jesus Christ to those around us. Be blessed. Amen.